What's up, Mentorship Freaks? The Daily Dose of the Mentorship Motivator. Today, we are talking about the heart versus the head. The heart versus the head. We're, we're talking about this when it comes to leadership, when it comes to dealing with your team, when it comes to your sales appointments. But in general, we're going to talk in the context of talking to your team, like in leadership, but also every video, pretty much for the most part that we do in these, these Mentorship Motivators, realize this stuff can be applied in all different areas of your life. Just have to always stress that. Don't think it's just in your business or just in one area of your business. This should be within your leadership team. This should be with, with the people you lead, with your family, with your friends, all areas, with your sales con your sales appointments, your sales consultations, however you do your, your sales appointments, your meetings, selling a prospect. Heart versus head, what does that mean? That means the two extremes. So think of of the, the say your heart is just cracking the whip nonstop, being a hard ass. Or that's head, actually, sorry. Heart is just being a fucking softy. Obviously, neither one of those is going to work. The balance between the two is always somewhere in between, in the gray. Think of like the book. I mean, it kind of relates to the book, The Dichotomy of Leadership, right? Because too much of the head, you're, if you're too strict, is, is just being too strict. Too much heart is just being a softy and letting shit slide all the time, which you can't be either one of those things. You can't have too much of one or the other. They, they both need to have a, a look at somewhere in between, some kind of balance in when it comes to leadership situations and making decisions. You have to look at both of them. John Wooden, who was probably the greatest sports coach in the history of any sport, college basketball, definitely. I think he had like 10, won 10 championships. They had, I think, four undefeated seasons, only one losing season, which I think was his, his first season was a losing season. Every other season was a winning season. But he, at some points, was on just the head part, right? Just 100% on the head part, just a hard ass. He one time kicked a kid off the team for smoking a cigarette because he had a no smoking policy. One time he saw a kid smoke a cigarette, one time kicked him off the team. Since the kid got kicked off the team, he lost his scholarship dropped out of college, it completely changed the course and the path of his life from smoking one cigarette while he was in college. And so John Wooden realized that his judgment and his fairness and understanding and acceptance and forgiveness, he had to find somewhere in between the heart versus the head. He couldn't go with just, all right, this is the way it is and nothing else is going to be acceptable or I'm kicking you off the team one single time, not even a, a warning, nothing, just gone. So the gray area in that gray, you have to think about if you're going to be ex extreme on either end, what are the what are the consequences going to be of your decision, both short term and long term of any any decision you're going to make if it's on those extremes? Because also, if he, he just let that shit slide, right, went to the extreme of heart, of softness, just being a fucking softy, that kid could be smoking every day and end up with lung cancer, right? So he couldn't go on the opposite end of that either. You have to he, he had to find that middle ground. And that's where judge, judgment and, and fairness comes into balance. Basically, heart and head is like logic and feelings, logic and emotions. The same way you're closing, you're closing a deal, right? You're working on a sales presentation. You need to get into your emotions because we know they're going to buy on emotions. They're going to justify it on logic. So that's why you got to meet them in both places. And that, that, that sale is going to be in between the heart and the head, in between the logic and emotions, the logic and the feelings. You need that balance in, in all areas, especially in your freaking leadership. And, and probably the hardest thing to do as a leader consistently is find that balance in between those two. Because you don't want to look, you don't want to be that asshole, that prick that's always just on someone's ass, micromanaging someone. But then you also can't just let everything slide and let people walk all over you. So find that balance and approaching it and communicating it the right way without sounding like an ass, I guess, is probably the hardest part of freaking leadership. Because of course you have rules, regulations, checklists, standards, high standards, and expectations, right? And, but, but those all at times can't be just black and white when you, when you, it comes to you being a leader, it just can't be. And again, it goes back to the book, Dichotomy of Leadership has this, you know, some of the same examples in a different way. This is where judgment, fairness, and balance, you have to consider them. You have to consider them. Remaking, and these aren't excuses. These aren't allowing people to make excuses. These aren't excuses to avoid tough situations. These aren't excuses to, to let shit slide. That's not even close to what the fuck I'm saying. It's just saying you have to think in the long term. You have to pick and choose your battles. 
These are not excuses or exceptions to the rules or letting someone off the hook on something. It's just making good judgments, being having fairness and when you find that balance. Reasonable compromise is probably a good way to say it. Just in specific situations. And I'm talking about a specific situation with a specific person at a specific time in a specific way, then you could, that's how you have to figure out that balance. So think about it, that's a lot of factors. That's why this shit is so hard as a leader when you think about it. That, all right, you have rules, but you can't, you can't let shit slide. You have to find that middle ground, but it has to be set in the right way specifically to the specific person at the specific time, the specific way that you need to communicate with that specific person for a specific situation. A lot to think about, a lot to, to get, get your mind stirred up, but that's just the way it is. That's, but that's why we're here. That's why we're the fucking leaders. That's why you're the entrepreneur. That's why you're running the show because we live for shit like this. We live for these challenges. That's what, that's what get, makes us better every day, situations like that, that you have to figure out and come out on the other end of it, growing and moving that relationship forward because every situation is different. That kid smoking that cigarette, who knows? That could have been the first time he ever smoked a cigarette in his life. He could have been trying it to who, whatever reason. I don't even know. Whatever. Who knows the scenario? Whatever. But he was kicked off the team immediately for the first time he did it. Changed the course of his entire life from that one cigarette. So you have to think about the black and the white. Because without without it, you know, understanding that first, realize that you yourself have probably made 10 times the fuck-ups that you will, will crack the whip immediately on someone before guiding them, coaching them, teaching them, mentoring them helping them. And of course, after so much guiding, coaching, mentoring, if you did your due diligence, then yeah, crack the fucking whip and, and get the fuck out, get, get get rid of them. But without it, without this balance in between, without that kind of grayish area, if you want to freaking call it. Now you could say with excellence, there's no gray area, but in leader, when it comes to leadership and dealing with all different people and, and building a team, there's at, again, there is certain situations where it has to be. Every situation is different. Without it, you're going to lock yourself and lock your team down and you're going to prevent the growth of the team. You're going to prevent them from learning from failure because we know our, our greatest victories and greatest lessons are from failure. So if we're just, every time someone fails, just cutting them off and fucking smashing them and burying them, they're never going to learn from that, never going to grow into being leaders themselves. You're not going to be forging the next leader in your, in your company. Too much black and white, it just loses the human factor. It loses the human factor. It loses the trust factor. And you'll, you'll do damage to the team freaking dynamic, basically, by just being on, on either end. Now, I'm not saying just on the hard-ass end, also on that soft end. If you're just letting shit slide, letting people get away with not holding you know holding their weight in their position, and other departments are suffering from it, think about that team dynamic. You're, you're also fucking up on, on, the, on the heart side. So you can't have too much of either. Think of the, the saying, tough love. I forget who, someone said it, something about tough love, that tough love is basically what you need as a leader. But most leaders are missing either the tough part or the L part. I can't believe I said that word. So, again, this does not mean going soft. It means appropriately applied discipline and pressure for the specific situation, the specific person at that specific time. That's what it means. Appropriately applied discipline and pressure. That's why, that, that's why it's the hardest part of leadership. Think about that. Appropriately applied discipline and pressure for a specific situation, for a specific person, at a specific time, and you need to align all those stars to get shit right and, and to move that problem forward or overcome it, overcome the obstacle. But that's fine. That's what we do. That's why we are the leaders. And this this balance is definitely, you know, probably the most difficult part of freaking leadership in, 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 or any relationship, really. To both understand it and then even harder to implement it. First to understand, all right, this is our rules. How could I possibly let that slide? But there is a time and a place for everything. There's an, You have to have a, a, a reasonable compromise for everything when you think about it. So use this stuff with leading your team. Use this stuff with your, your peers in your leadership team. Use it with the rest of your staff that you, you lead. Teach it to your leadership team to deal with their, their teams that way. Use it with your family. Use this in your sales appointments. You can't just go hard-ass strict logic on a sales appointment. You also can't just go soft-ass like emotional and that's it. You need to find that in-between balance. In-between there is where the solution lies in all these things we're talking about. So use this in all those areas of life. I will talk to you later. This is the Mentorship Motivator. You are fucking awesome. No excuses.